Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Akif bin Hussein, matrix number 202442. Hi, my name is Muhammad Nur Azan, Muhammad Hamdan, my matrix number is 202479. Hi, my name is Emilia Asmara binti Mat Daud and my matrix number is 204253. This is the contents of our presentation. For the first part, let's get to know about the plant taxonomy of Pederia foetida. This is the taxonomy hierarchy of this plant. It has domain Eukaryota, kingdom Plantae, phylum Spermatophyta, Subphylum Angiosperma, Class Dicotyledonae, Order Gentianales, Family Rubiaceae, Genus Pederia, and Species Name Pederia Fotida. Pederia Fotida L, or Skunk Vine, locally known as Down Sekentut in Malaysia, is a climber widely distributed in Asian countries including Malaysia, Thailand, China, Vietnam and others. It leaves is opposite, ovate and acute with 2.5 to 3.8 cm long. The surface is glabrous and mostly ovate, green in color, having a characteristic order in distinct bitter taste. The identification of metabolites and bioactive markers of this plant can be done by gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, GCMS, nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometry, NMR, and also liquid chromatography mass, mass spectrometry, LCMS. For the habitat of Pederia foetida, it had been found in some country in Asia and also United States of America USA In Asia it can be found in Malaysia Indonesia Thailand Philippines China India Korea and also Japan In USA it can be found in region Hawaii Texas in the United States of America For the traditional usage of Pederia foetida first it can treat sores in example, bee venom, snake bites, and also inflammation. Next, is an, it can also treat rheumatic joint, for example, paralysis, cramps, and also abdominal pain. It also can be used to cure night blindness. Other than that, Pederia fotida can also treat digestive problems such as diarrhea, stomach swelling, and also used to clean the stomach. The fruits from Pederia fotida actually can uh, can be used to treat toothache. Lastly, this plant can also help to reduce the pain from women after childbirth. For the next part, we will take a look at the secondary metabolites that are found in down sekentut. The first one is DL-alpha tocopherol. DL-alpha tocopherol is a type of vitamin E. Like all vitamin E's, it has a group of 8 fat soluble compounds which are 4 tocopherols and 4 tocotrienols. Next one, steroids. There are several steroids that can be found in Paederia fortida L or Down Sekentut. They are phytosteroids which are naturally occurring steroids found in plants. The types of steroids that are found in Down Sekentut include gamma cytosterol and stigma and trion. Steroids that are found in Down's Kentut have the core structure of 17 carbon atoms bonded in four fused ring. Three of them are six membered ring and one of them is five membered ring. Stigma stanol and stigma sterol are two closely related compounds. They are also phytosteroids and inhibit the same structure as the steroids they, are, they have been mentioned before. Lastly, there are alpha monosterin, also known as glycerol monosterate. This compound is a type of monoglyceride. It is the glycerol ester of stearic acid. The structure is a molecule of glycerol linked to a fatty acid via an ester bond. First of all, I will explain the uh, biosynthetic pathway of uh, the L-alpha tocopherol. The setting material is 6-hydroxy-2578-tetramethyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,4-methyl-2,
methyl tripentyl vinyl chromane after acetylation uh, ac2o3 was oxidized with selenium dioxide in a mixture of benzene and acetic acid to give aldehyde 4 then compound 4 was reduced to alcohol 5 with sodium borohydrate and then converted to its brominated derivative with a phosphorus uh, tribromide in dry chloroform at 0 degrees Celsius. Because this compound is very unstable, it was treated with 2 mercaptothiazoline and sodium hydrate in dry tetrahydrofuran to obtain 6 from alcohol 5. After saponification of 6 with 5% uh, potassium hydroxide methanol, treatment of product with chloromethoxymethane in the presence of sodium hydrate in dry THF at room temperature yielded the methoxy-methoxy derivative. Compound 7 then reacted with granyl bromide and N butyl lithium in a mixture of dry THF and hexamethyl phosphoramide in dry ice in dry ice acetone pulp to afford 5 mercaptothiazolinyl uh, alpha tocotrienol methoxymethyl ether which is 8 compound 8 was desulfurized with zinc powder and acetic acid to give all trans uh, alpha tocotrienol methoxymethyl ether then it treated with um, perchloric acid in THF at 0 degrees Celsius for 2 minutes to afford all trans alpha tocotrienol which is 2 then it reduced in ethyl acetate under 50 atm of hydrogen in the presence of platinum oxide at room temperature for 3 hours to give uh, dl alpha tocopherol the next one is biosynthetic pathway of stigmasterol firstly acetyl coe undergo multiple enzymatic steps to form 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl CoA. Then it reacted with 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl coenzyme A reductase, which is abbreviated as HG HGMR to afford mevalonic acid. Mevalonic acid undergo enzymatic steps and produce cycloartanol, then react with sterol 24 C methyl transferase forming. 24 methylene cycloartanol. Then it undergo multiple enzymatic steps to afford 24 methylene lofinol that next react with sterol 24 C methyl transferase and form 24 uh, ethylidine lofinol. This compound then undergo enzymatic steps and membrane insert to form cytosterol. Last but not least, stigmasterol was derived from cytosterol by action of sterol C22 desaturase. This is the biosynthetic pathway of N-hexadecanoic acid or palmitic acid. It is catalyzed by FAS or ferrous ammonium sulfate. For the first reaction, the acetyl group is initially attached to the sulfhydryl of the 4-phosphopantotenate of acyl carrier protein portion of FAS or called ACPSH. This is catalyzed by acetyl-CoA ACP transacetylase. This activating group, this activating acetyl group represent the omega N of the newly synthesized fatty acid. For the third reaction, Following transfer of activating acetyl group to a cysteine sulfhydryl in the beta keto ACP synthase portion of FAS or also called CYSSH, the three carbons from a malonyl CoA are attached to ACPSH, catalyzed by malonyl CoA ACP transacetylase. In the fourth reaction, the acetyl group attacks the methylene group of melanin attached 
Keto ACP SH catalyzed by beta keto ACP synthase, which also liberates the carbon dioxide that's all ad that was added to acetyl CoA by ACC. The resulting 3 keto acyl group then undergoes a series of three reactions catalyzed by beta keto ACP reductase. In reaction 5, 3 OH acyl ACP dehydratase in reaction 6 and lastly enol CoA reductase in the reaction 7. These activities of FAS will be resulting in a saturated 4 carbon or can be called butyryl group attached to the ACPSH. This butyryl group is then transferred to the CYSSH in reaction 8 as for the case of the activating acetyl group. At this point, another malonyl group uh, is attached to the ACPSH and the process will begin again. The reaction 4 to 8 are repeated another six times, each beginning with a, malon a new malonyl group being added. At the completion of synthesis, the saturated 16 carbon fatty acid, palmitic acid, is released via the action of the thioesterase activity of FAS located in the carbon terminal and of the enzyme. Then we will take a look at the medicinal usages of the secondary metabolites found in those kentos. Some of the secondary metabolites found in those kentos are very useful and can be used in the medicinal field. The first one is stigmasterone. Stigmasterone is used in the manufacturing of semi-synthetic progesterone. Progesterone is a steroid hormone which helps prepare the woman's body for conception, pregnancy and regulates the monthly menstrual cycle. Next one is stigmastanol. It is used to inhibit the absorption of cholesterol from diet. It also can be used to treat prostatic hyperplasia, a condition in which the prostate enlarges abnormally. Next one is GMS or glycerol monosteroid. It is used as a solidifier and control release agent in pharmaceutical products. And lastly is the L-alpha tocopherol, used as an antioxidant and can be also used as food preservatives. That's all from us, thank you.